here with Mel, who won tonight's Reach for the Stars talent competition at the Congress Theatre. So, um, all the crowd have left, and I've asked Mel to come out on stage just to talk a bit about her win, because it was an incredibly difficult decision to pick the winner. The storytelling talent is just fantastic. Can you tell us a bit about it and where it came from? Um, when, I was, um, when I was pregnant, when I was 17, I had, um, I had a lot of difficulties. Um, I, I, when I gave birth, um, my daughter was six weeks old and she was taken away from me. So I fought in court for many, many months um, to try and get my daughter back home. Um, they didn't believe that it was us, so they granted my daughter home after, after a year of fighting in court. She came home last year on November the 11th, so it would have been a year on the November 11th, and it was great. And it's getting, she's getting better and better now. And it was a very hard time, and I don't really have anyone apart from my partner and a few friends that have supported me all the way through this. And they're the ones who've encouraged me and told me that I can do yes. amazing things in my life. And I, it's been great, honestly. <laughs> it's been really nice to be there, for people to be there for me. And you sort of sat down with a pen and paper and just poured your heart out? Well, about? originally, nine months ago, um, I was still emotionally a mess and I didn't really have anyone to talk to. I didn't really have anything in my life to really aspire to or anything. And my partner, he, um, he told me about a way to, to do this because he does rap as well and he said writing things down and how you feel is great for you and it, it, it gets it all out, it's like therapy. So I started, you know, listening to him and like, yeah, all right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, not really believing him and it just turned out that it helped way more than sitting down and talking to someone ever could because when you, when, you when you write everything down and then when, you, when, you, when you're upset and you go to talk to someone, they don't really listen to what you're saying. They just like, oh, it's all right, everything will be fine. But when you write it down and you put it into a, a lyrical way or, or a poem or a song, people listen to you better because they might not even be going through the same situation as you, but they'll always find something relevant to what you're singing about so they can feel how you feel. And not everyone's been through the same situation as me, but people have felt words that I have said before. And it, it, just being able to tell people how I feel for once and actually get people to listen to me is, is an amazing feeling. I've always been shut out in my life. So when someone, when they all listened to me today and were all quiet, it was, it was great. It was like, finally I was listened to. It was amazing. It was, there's no exaggeration. As you were just telling your story then, <laughs> the hairs in the back of my neck went up. <laughs> what are your plans next then? Um, well, I spoke to Ariane and she wanted to work with me with, um, to do songwriting and stuff for other people and for myself. And Lehman, which is my mentor, Gareth Lehman, he wanted to um, use my poem and we turn it into a song. He's the way it's written is very song-like anyway. Um, so we're going to turn it into a song. And